everyone good to see you again thanks for checking this channel out really do appreciate it um gonna do something i haven't really done before uh give you the review of a guitar i've recently come uh you know uh, into my possession here and uh really digging what i hear and see so far on this um it's the uh, the hard luck kings bombshell um uh, i guess a strat style type guitar um only was introduced to them just just a few weeks back and uh you know, I'm, I'm not going to tell you to go out and, and, and buy anything, uh, but I think this is a company that you really need to check out if you're, you know, you're the weekend warrior type player uh, on a budget. Uh, I, I think if you don't know much about these guys, you've got to go and, and check out their website, find out what they're all about. For the price point on some of these guitars, um, really, really shocked actually, and impressed with how well they play. Um, you know, I know I, I, I can't afford to go out and pay a grand, two grand on, on a guitar these days. Uh, I think most of us can't. Like I said, you know, we're more the weekend warrior type of players. Um, so I'm always looking to see, you know, who, who's out there, you know, what's new out there, what's what's competitive, what's what kind of fits, you know, my wallet, your wallet, that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, these guys were introduced to me, and I got to tell you, really, really impressed with, with not only how it looks, but just how it feels and how it sounds. Um, if you're not familiar with Hard Luck Kings, and I'm still learning about them as well, uh, they tend to roll out their guitars in, in, in series. They call them series. This is a Series 20 guitar. And um, I, it looks like every six months or so, they roll out another series. And I think the body shapes are pretty much the same in terms of the types of guitars they roll out. Colors might change on there. There's a couple on there right now for, I guess, the latest series. Uh, I think one is called the... The Hornet, which is a, a Tele style guitar uh, with the black and yellow paint scheme, and it's pretty wild actually. It really catches your eye. Um, but I guess what they tend to do is whether it's the style of guitar, the Tele style, some other ones in there as well. Um, they only have about twenty or thirty of them that they they sell per series, and once they're gone, they're gone, and then you just gotta wait till the next series if you're looking to get something or, or try to find one uh, used, I guess. Um, so it's really an interesting concept how they, they've got these here. And again, this is Series 20. I think if you go on the website now, Series 21 is available, and I think 22s are taking pre-orders. I could be wrong. Um, like I said, I'm still kind of learning about the company and what they do. But again, based in Southern California, um, customer service was, was was great. I mean, they're, they're a small shop. You know, they're, they're not thousands of people working there. Very small. Um, but I'll tell you, I, I came across info. I called just to try to get some, some details. And that day, I got a call back. So... Um, that alone impressed me a lot because a lot of companies don't do that. They just kind of push it off. I'll get back to you in a week or so. Um, not the case here. They got back to me quickly, answered my questions. I mean, it was, and it was like maybe five minutes into the conversation before we started talking about the guitar. So they really made it feel like it was a, a very personable experience, which I really, really liked. Um, so, you know, here I am with this one here. Um, you know, got to say really impressed for the most part with everything. Um, not much I would really change at all. Nothing I'm really disappointed in. Um, Personal preference, I might one day just try, you know, um, take out the, the pick guard and maybe put in a, a white one or the pearl, something along those lines. Um, that, that's just personal preference here. Um, I don't think I would even change out the, the picks. I think they're, they're, they sound great. A little, um, certainly high output, I think, in terms of some of my other guitars, but that's okay. It's something different. Speed knobs, I've never really, you know, take them or leave them. I've never really used them one way or the other. So uh, they may stay, they might go. I don't know. But again, that's just cosmetics. Um, I will say this, you know, when I, when I took the guitar out of the box, um, I looked real close to see, all right, you know, maybe because of this price point, you know, is anything going to be sloppy on it? Is it going to be, you know, we'll just call it sloppy. And I, I kind of, <laughs> I went through it and I looked at, you know, you know, the nut, I looked at, you know, where there might be some glue. I looked where, you know, there could be chips and it was, it was clean. I, I got to tell you the frets, um, no sharp edges at all on the frets, which I thought was fantastic. Um, really, really, you know, like that. Um, and it was kind of funny. I, I kind of looked at this and I think, wow, this could be, you know, a cool looking guitar at some point when it, you know, kind of, you know, maybe ends up relicking itself and there's some chips here and there. I wonder what that would look like. So I, I took the back off and there was just little, little piece where something might have chipped off in the back underneath the, uh, the plate here. And I'm like, wow, it was actually pretty cool because I could see the wood and it would give me a great idea what this thing would look like. So I was like, wow, it'd be great maybe one day. So, um, and there was, and again, it, it's well in the body, so you don't even see it, which is fantastic. Um, tuning pegs, 
really, really strong. I mean, the thing doesn't really go out of tune a whole lot. Um, uh, whammy bar, I, I don't even use it. So, I mean, I, I haven't even put it on yet, but I'll, I'll do that just to test it out. Um, but for the most part, I mean, it's, it's a really solid guitar. I mean, I would really um, tell you to check it out if you're looking for something else. Like, again, we, we don't know, we can't, we. I, you know, a lot of us out there can't afford the, you know, one, two, three, three grand guitars. Um, this, you know, if you're looking for like that reasonable type of guitar, I think you got to check these guys out. Honestly, just, just, just for your own knowledge, if you haven't done so yet, it may not be your, you know, you know, your bag, what you're looking for, but it was just something I, I think worth taking a look at. And what I'll do is, um, I'm going to just play for you a little bit here. I'm not going to, I mean, there's a whole lot of different things I can do here. We, you know, you go down the rabbit hole, you never come out of it. So what I'm going to do is I've got the Boss Katana here, and I'm going to kind of just keep it real simple. Um, bass and middle, we're pretty much at 12 o'clock. I gave it a little more treble, um, a little bit of chorus. And what I'm going to do is I'll go through some of the amps here as far as, uh, you know, the, the crunch, the clean, um, the lead, that sort of thing. No booster at all. I'm going to just kind of, again, I don't want to hide behind uh, any of the... Uh, the effects here just to kind of give you an idea how it sounds and then i think i'm going to move over to the uh the uh, blues two uh I'll try that again we're going to move it over to the uh the fender uh um the junior here the blues junior and uh i don't even think i'm going to go through pedal board i think i'm just going to play it clean and then just kind of dirty it up through the gain on there just to kind of give you a real natural sound without you know having it hide behind some pedals and effects uh you know i think it'll be easier for you to hear that i'll play the same chord progression as best I can over and over just so you can kind of hear it through the different settings I'm going to do instead of playing something in the key of G, something key of A. Keep it simple um, just so you can kind of hear it. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Let's get to it. <laughs>
Again, kept it simple, gave you some different tones, different sounds, just so you can kind of make your own decisions on if it's you know something you want to look into. Uh, highly recommend, honestly. I'm gigging, I'm gonna gig with it for the uh, the first time later this month, actually it's Halloween. Uh, that that night, uh, I've got a gig, so uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm really looking forward to it, though. I think it, you know, if all goes well, I can see this easily becoming my main axe when um, I'm gigging between this and my PRS uh, for sure. So I think we'll give it a shot. Uh, see how it sounds, and I'll, I'll circle back with you um, after that gig just to kind of give you an update. Maybe I'll have some video to share with you. Um, again, Hard Luck Kings Guitar. Check them out in Southern California. Uh, I think it's definitely worth you investing some time. Just check it out on the website and, and see what they have to offer there, okay? Uh, until then, I will see you down the road. Take care.